I want to share with you today my five most important non-mechanical tools on the homestead. If I only had a few tools, which tools would it be that I would choose? If I could only choose five, which ones would it be? If you had five tools, only five non-mechanical tools on your homestead, on your farm to use, what would they be? And I've thought about this a bit, and these are the ones that I would choose. The first, and maybe the most important, a bucket. Papa calls buckets his round plastic toolbox invaluable in so many different ways. And I keep the feed in it. I also will use it to carry water in the winter occasionally. Yesterday, I used it to gather a bunch of green weeds to give to the pigs. I gathered it out of the garden and put it into the pig pen. Moving compost, uh, whenever I was planting my tomato plants, I would uh, dig a hole for the tomatoes, I would plant the tomatoes, and I would go get some compost and put in between the two tomato plants that I just planted. So many different uses for a bucket. One of the homesteader dilemmas is whenever you see a bucket on the side of the road, do you stop and get it? I, I take all the buckets that I can get. If there are buckets available, if somebody's offering to give me buckets, they don't want the buckets with lids, without lids, I will take them. I love buckets. One of the best tools on the homestead. A shovel. I actually really like this shovel. Uh, we had this in California. Uh, this, I believe, is the Fiskers or Gerber shovel. I don't know. It's all steel construction, uh, really durable and really long-lasting. It's. Uh, I think it might have a guarantee. Uh, I don't know. It's just an amazing, amazing shovel. It did have a handle up here, uh, but that got lost. You can use it whenever you're working in the fire. Uh, you can use it whenever you're moving the compost. You can use it to help till up the garden a bit if you uh, if you need to. Uh, you can use it whenever you're uh, planting things. It's hard to uh, say how many uses a shovel has, uh, but I think it would probably be in my top five. I thought about saying something about a rake, uh, but a shovel is better than a rake. I'm not saying that uh, I don't use other tools. I'm saying that if I could only have five tools, if I could only have a few, which ones would I choose? And I think shovel would definitely be on the list because it's so great in so many different ways. I've been kind of torn about this one for a while, but machete axe. I was thinking about saying an ax, uh, there are some things, this is by Fiskers, uh, and there's some things that I don't really like about it. I like uh, that it has uh, the leverage on it so I can give a good, uh, give a good swing and cut uh, with chop and drop uh, so I can cut down little trees that I don't want. Uh, I wish, uh, and whenever I saw it in the pictures, I thought that this might have been some serrated edge here. I wish that was a serrated edge so I could come along and take it backwards and chop uh, like a rice knife or something like that, like a hoary hoary knife, and chop and pull some things up. Uh, but it's not. I've been using it a lot more recently. So especially for you know little trees and little chop and drop things, I can just come in there and get right on it. I've really kind of grown to like this a bit more. Uh, it's got some design flaws. So maybe you're aware of one that uh, might be better. Uh, but if you're doing permaculture and you're using chop and drop technique, uh, then this might be something that would be good for you. I've grown to really like my Fisker's machete axe. It looks all uh, beat up like that because I took a grinder to it. I was trying to sharpen it up. That was a mistake. Um, I know that now. I know it was a mistake. Uh, that's number, is that number three? Wait, hold on. Bucket, shovel, machete axe. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, remember now. Number four, snippers. So these aren't really anything special. I think they came from Harbor Freight. I bought these last year, I think it was, and they've lasted all season. When you're trying to get cuttings, and then you want to root those cuttings. These can fit in your pocket a whole lot easier than the machete axe. Uh, when you're wanting to cut some of those little trees, you can just come and just snip them there. I think I would choose these cutters and whenever you're pruning and stuff like that. And number five, and finally, one that uh, is probably tied with the bucket, maybe even uh, better than the bucket, uh, is a pocket knife. Uh, this one is a, a Gerber pocket knife. I like the multi-tools like this uh, because uh, I can use it for so many things. It keeps things in my pocket. I can uh, cut wire with it uh, whenever you're using electric fencing. I don't usually use a screwdriver or anything else on here uh, besides uh, the uh, pliers and the pocket knife. Yes, this machete axe doesn't have serration here. I wish it did, but I like the serration on this uh, that I can take, chop and drop and do that. I kind of wish it was a little bit bigger sometime. Uh, I still think serration would be great on that, on one side of it, but um, 
doesn't have that. There might be some tools I do and I might invest in one of those eventually if I find one. Let me know below if you know of one. Uh, but uh, pocket knife is definitely uh, way up on that list. And I didn't put these in any order. Uh, if I had to put them in an order, uh, I would probably uh, put uh, pocket knife first, bucket second, shovel third, machete axe fourth, and clippers fifth. And I did a sixth one. If I had one more to do, because I do rotational pasture, it would be a post driver. You know, obviously you need posts too. I might use this more than I use the shovel actually because I do rotate the pigs all the time. And along with this one, I'm including the post puller. Ouch. Papa bought this a couple years ago and we have used the fire out of it. It is amazing uh, whenever you're doing this rotational grazing, not only to be able to drive the post fast with the post driver, uh, but then be able to pull up the post and it's not really a big deal at all. That would be my bonus tool. What tools would you use? If you only had five non-mechanical tools, what would they be? What would you choose? Let me know down in the comments below. If you like things like this, like and subscribe, hit that notification bell, select all so you never miss a notification. Thanks.